Let us enter the realm of the dead. We need to destroy the gore goo gore goo goo What is I don't even know what that is. We're gonna destroy the gorgul with is that like a gargoyle? Maybe it's gargoyle. I don't know. We're we're gonna destroy it though. But first, uh we found some fibers, so we're just gonna go away from the realm of the dead. Yeah. And we use the fibers over here to make a, a bowstring, I suppose. A bow and arrow, clearly the weapon of choice against Gorgul's. Okay, so back to the realm of the dead. Aha! Take that, Gorgul! Ha! Ha <laughs> ha! Managed to defeat the monster whose name I can't pronounce. Here we have a shovel. Need some things over there. Here is a minor puzzle. You want to put the pieces into place. And those belong in a certain order. So what do I do now, actually? Oh, wait. I remember what I do now. Now I just have to run back here for another Hidden Objects Challenge. And I think the game is kind of teasing me here, because all of these items are dangerous weapons, which would have been very useful against the Gargoyle. Like, very useful against the Gargoyle. And here we want to get out the knife. Come on, knife, you can do the Knife, knife, be a good... The knife doesn't want to cooperate right now. Okay, so the knife goes there. Okay, giving me the halberd. Mean old knife refusing to cooperate with me. Okay, so now, now we're completely finished with that one area, and now we're just going to be in the realm of the dead for the rest of the video. Hooray! So we're going to use the halberd, not as a weapon, but as like a giant poker thing. Okay, let's move everything around. There we go. So that gives me a coin, gives me some flammable liquid, a diagram, a paper, and the map. Oh boy. So I believe one of these things goes here. The diagram? Diagram. Okay, so you want to swap the sun and the moon, as well as the tree and the tree. That gives us this random thing. Let me clean it off of my broom. Hand over here. So we want to put the two hands in place, obviously. That gives me a symbol, and this is a puzzle I'll be doing shortly. It's a very simple repeat the pattern puzzle. Just So just repeat the pattern. So we're repeating the pattern here against the monster snakes. You need to click on the skulls the way they open their jaws. It's a one, two, three, right? So one, two, three. Next is going to be eyeballs. So let's see the eyeball pattern. Yellow, purple, red. Whoa. Yellow, purple, and red. Kind of confusing, because they keep moving around. Okay, eyeball, I'll buy, uh, eyeball number two. Yellow, yellow, red, purple, purple, red. And uh, this changes every time you play the game, so... That is, you have a different pattern. Yellow, yellow, red, yellow, I, I did it right! What? No! Mm. I'm gonna skip that puzzle. I got the right answer, you saw, I double-clicked on the... Maybe I didn't double-click on the yellow. Whatever. Anyway, uh, I need a valve here. Oh, and this is actually a map. X marks the spot on the map, indicating we need to dig here with our shovel. It gives me a coin. 
but it gives me this, more importantly, it gives me this valve handle, so I can turn that off and get this torch. With this torch, I'm going to grab the crown, I'm going to wrap the fabric, and I'm going to use a flammable liquid. Now it's a great torch. It's a completely finished torch. Now that I have this crown, I get a snake, and I can use the snake to go inside the castle of the evil Mortis. So, you came after all. Now no one can interrupt us. Ha 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 ha
this this is the portal right over there. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Okay, nanny, nanny, I've got I've got the amulet. Let's save the queen. Yay! All oh, and happy hugs, and they all lived happily ever after until the sequel in which everything fell apart again. Or more likely the sequel where they decide to reboot the series continuity. Okay, so that is Spirits of Mystery Family Lies. Thank you very much for watching my video walkthrough, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. I know at this point, you know, most YouTubers say, Hey, check out my other video walkthroughs. Check out my walkthroughs for Spirits of Mystery, the Dark Miniature. And don't forget my Dark Parables walkthrough, like the one for the Rapunzel game. Oh, oh man, and you totally gotta check out my walkthrough for Royal Trouble. And stuff like that, but I, I don't really like doing that because, you know, it makes me feel like I'm full of myself. You know, I'm like, hey... Watch this, watch that, watch that. It's like, I don't really need to boss you guys around, right? If you're interested in seeing more video games played by me, then you're interested. If you're not, you're not. I, I don't think me hounding you is going to make much of a difference. Anyway, that is the end of the uh, video walkthrough. So I'm just going to let the ending credits roll here. What do I think of this game overall? This is a pretty good game. I kind of like that ending, uh, you know, the bonus game. That was kind of neat. Uh, I feel like maybe um, the game could have been improved because um, like sections 3 and 4 and 5 are all about uh, the castle, right? You went through a castle and then you went through the castle, then you go to Issa's castle and go through the castle. So maybe, maybe the game could have changed it up a bit by having a, a section which was not castle after castle after castle. We, we, we had like three castle sections in a row, and maybe, maybe that wasn't the greatest. But other than that, I think it was still a pretty good game. I did enjoy it, the game, even if it was mostly just castle adventures. It's just, you know, the previous game I played was more exploring the fairy tale land adventures. So I was expecting more of that, you know, exploring the kingdom and less, you know, being stuck in the castle. So, uh, thank you for watching, everybody. Bye.